Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I remember my point. Um, yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Everyone thinks, from from what I'm gathering, like you know, like I mentioned, like the mirror and thing. Like they get people to like mirror, like mockingly mirror what I'm supposed to be like. And apparently, like, from the messages that I've been getting, it's like um, I think I'm unique because I am. Um, my style or something like that, but the thing is, like, I dress normally, I don't. I dress, like, basic, so that's what I'm gonna get, like, look, how do you want me to dress? Because I can't be any more basic, like, I actually don't know how that can even be possible, because all I wear is, like, leggings, plain black, like, I could wear more colour, but I feel like it just makes, makes me look messy, because I don't really, I don't really feel like a suit. I just keep it simple, that's the thing. Like if I, I basically just charity shop all the time and I pick up the same item every time. Huh? <laughs> but like um I don't that's what I don't understand. It's like how, how can I think that I'm like different and special and unique when I literally like buy the same stuff and yeah like that was another point I made in the other video and I lost it but like yeah I, I were like eyeliner but like so do a lot of people so I don't really know why I have piercings but so do a lot of people so there's like way, way more extreme people in the world than me so like what, why is it me who gets attacked for it I know what all my life I've had like um sort of like jobs where it doesn't really matter at least for the men but like when you're a girl you get like judged for it and I'm pretty sure that I'm being spied on by like um their wives and girlfriends, if that makes sense, like they're keeping an eye on me, which is horrible. I was just there for money, I wasn't there to like get, like obviously like I would like to find someone to be with, but that's, that's not why I chose that career, if that makes any sense, like I wasn't, yeah, not another point. I actually didn't choose that career, it was my mum who made me. When I was 18, she said that I had to go to college and do that HNC. I wanted to do either beauty, um, just normal girly stuff, and um, I was going to do maybe science or something, and maybe I didn't know where I was going to take it, but I thought like, if I did basic science, I could take it in like, loads of different directions. God, I keep saying if that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, well, that's what I was going to do, and she said that if you don't do some, like, the, weld the welding course, like, um, basically she was going to chuck me out. So I started that, and I didn't finish it that year because it was a bit too much for me. Like, I always do this to myself, like, I threw, my threw myself in at the HNC level, and it was too hard too hard for me but I actually passed quite a lot of it. I just had one or two units to like finish off but I never managed to do that year so like the next year I went back I am um, I was I didn't want to waste time and I didn't want to go because I worked in Access at the time and I didn't want to work full time because I thought what well, I just always try and do the right thing and it always backfires but like I was going to be at that college anyway but the the units that I had to finish were in um until the second half of the year and I had to wait for the that actual class like the, those you know like the next year students like I had to sit it with them it was all like apprentices and stuff like that so I had to wait for that and I didn't want to waste half of a year just for the sake of finishing one or two courses so I went um I did um AutoCAD and um it was just like a time filler but I thought it was good because it's like an extra qualification sort of thing, so I'll just do that. And so that year I finished two HSEs. And um, yeah, but I'm being like Sandra for that too, because it's like I think I'm trying to be a noble or something like that, but I'm not. Like, I just like struggled through because I was filling time and I thought I could put it on my CV sort of thing and I just I was just trying to do the right thing and every time it's like people think I'm being arrogant or I 
smart ass and I'm not like I'm quite stupid but I don't really know basic ed editing so this is all just like raw <laughs> raw and real but um no head so <laughs> but um, yeah I just feel like everything I do just like is wrong like if I try to be nice to someone it's wrong they think that it's fake nice and like if, if you're nice to a guy they think that you fancy them and then when you don't want to sleep with them it's like you're a bitch and you're a tease but maybe I was just trying to be nice <sighs> you can't you can't win especially like in the dog yards like you, you work with like a lot of men or whatever and like I was like nervous because I'm already a shy person and like every time you talk to someone it's like oh you, you're shagging and blah blah <laughs> so he's talking it was horrible like, I accidentally got like red pilled when I worked there so it's like it's horrible like because now I don't know what, what they're like about women and I didn't choose that I was just sort of there like quietly listening <laughs> I think we forgot I was there because I couldn't be so silent. But um, yeah. So now, now I'm like, um, I don't know if that's why people are after me because it's like she knows too much or something. Like that. <laughs> I don't know what I think I'm gonna do. Though. Just like, oh yeah, I accidentally red pilled my um, my mum and aunties. <laughs> getting juicy now, like New Year, New Year, um, ah, this angle's up, but, um, yeah, at New Year, my, um, my mum, she was talking about one of our work nights out, because she works, like, an engineering type thing, so, engineering type company too, at least at the time she did, um, that's how I got into it, so, um, yeah, she was talking about a work night out, and how the guys had, like, rented a room for, like, dogs or something like that and I was like oh it's women too <laughs> like they're not just gonna like get a room for just taking you know something <laughs> um yeah and I could feel like the awkwardness in the air but I, did, I, I don't know I just like accidentally dropped a bomb on them but yeah I I don't, I didn't want to know this because now I'm like always single because I don't trust anyone and I feel like I have quite PTSD from it all and I have their wives and girlfriends after me too like trying to botch me and trying to make me look like a psycho it's like you're, you're allowed to do that sort of job but as a woman but they'd rather you didn't and they're gonna make your life absolutely hell and like it wasn't even my decision I did okay I could have changed it later on but the thing is like I'd already started it and like I don't really like I didn't want to waste my time so I just like kept going with it and yeah but they, they say that I didn't do my job when I did and yeah maybe I took a bit longer but the thing is like I'm not a grown ass man like I maybe took a bit longer to do things but the thing is like that's how they taught me as well like they would drag things out go for tea like every two seconds and I just got in in the habit too because I was watching them like they were teaching me like I take some responsibility but like they made me feel that that was normal and now they're switching it around to say that I'm the only one who's like oh, that's not true they were all doing the same thing as me so they were there first and I was just watching them do it and went when in Rome. <laughs> I don't know how Yeah, I did my own reports. I did my own drawings and things like if if they were shit, I'm sorry. Like again, you know where I live, like could send me a letter or something. Someone's breaking in. I don't think I get all my letters, so but the thing is, like, if you wanted to find me, you could, and I know that you know where I live, so just, you would rather toy with me and embarrass me in front of everyone. I'm so sick, I don't know. Yeah. 
Are you going to me to so bad you just wanna you just wanna kill me basically and I don't know why that's fair. If I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and I'm a human being and you just want me gone. <laughs> I'm allowed to live too, like you don't own the world. Or maybe you do, I don't know who I'm talking to, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, I have more points, but I'm going to stop it here because I'm nervous that it's going to do what it is last time. I'm going to do it in the segment, so I'll be like right back.